Thanks, Darren. So an eighth grader wrote a letter to the wife of Virginia Governor Ralph Northam, calling her actions beyond inappropriate. This after the first lady apparently handed cotton to black students. Now this is similar to the runaway slave game. Students said Loudoun County in an elementary school there were made to play. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Peggy Fox is in Loudoun County where the NAACP is trying to bring about some change. What happened at the governor's mansion with Virginia First Lady Pam Northam surprises many. She was the person who stopped her husband from moonwalking at that disastrous press conference concerning the blackface picture in his medical school yearbook. Now Mrs. Northam is under fire for handing pieces of cotton to visiting student pages who happen to be black. The girl who wrote the letter said Mrs. Northam asked the students if they could imagine being an enslaved person and having to pick this all day. Members of the Loudoun County NAACP say the First Lady should have known better. You are not privileged to miseducate folks on black history. You should have known from the previous blow up of your husband, you may want to consult with at the very least a black school. So that probably is what she learned as a student in Virginia, is that all black people or all enslaved people pick cotton. You know, this is true, you pick cotton. And can you see right out there in the fields, that's where it was done. I could even imagine the tone of voice. It wasn't one of, of anger. It wasn't probably one of insult. It was one of ignorance. Not, not all black history is that of hurt and pain. It's of resilience, it's of sacrifice, it's in spite of history. Mrs. Northam's tone-deaf mistake is reminiscent of what happened recently at Madison Trust Elementary School in Loudoun County, where children played a runaway slave game. The NAACB has been pushing for changes, but was floored this week when the Loudoun School Board appointed a committee to look into equity among students, yet left out the African-American community. It's a glaring oversight that continues to happen in today's environment. You went through an evening of almost four hours listening to conversations about equity from all kinds of voices, and you don't mention a significant voice that you heard that night. The NAACP members had a closed door meeting with Superintendent yeah. Eric Williams, who told them he would speak to the school well, board. The In Loudoun is, County, uh, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9. Clearly, there's a lot of work to do. We have not heard back from the Loudoun County School Board, but we can tell you that Mrs. Northam has since apologized before becoming Virginia's first lady. Pam Northam was a high school biology teacher, and she worked at a nonprofit environmental group in Virginia Beach.